Brooklyn Independent Television. Now that we've got you hungry, when you think of Brooklyn, you don't necessarily think of farmland. But the High School for Public Service in Crown Heights has turned an otherwise empty plot into a budding farm, filled with fruits and vegetables. Lauren Muraski paid a visit to the students, who are not only growing fresh produce, but also giving back to their community and learning about themselves along the way. And look how they are when they're green. You can find everything from eggplant to cabbage and tomatoes outside the High School for Public Service in Crown Heights. It's part of a new initiative where students do the planting and harvesting of the fruits and vegetables that could end up at your local farmer's market. We've had this piece of land for 50 years. Wingate High School has been around since 1954, and this really an acre large plot has been just laying fallow. So I just figured, you know what, why couldn't we have a farm? When they said that it was going to a farm in front, I was like, a farm in front of school, really? But uh, as they continue to like dig the beds and start planting, I was like, it could be really good. Look at my basil. Aren't these beautiful? Smell. It's been amazing. I love working out on the farm. I love doing everything on the farm. Like, I even hold chickens. I love it. The students are so enthusiastic about the project and have become really knowledgeable about the ins and outs of farming and even know how to make some tasty meals. Make sure you're holding this and not this because you might just pull it out. And you just and shake off that good soil so it stays there. And that's it. That's it's a radish right like. there. If you walk two blocks down, there's really no like veggie store or anything. And to me, it's like in order for people in this community to get fresh fruits and vegetables for their families, they have to go out of place and it, it's a cost of transportation and then the food might be a little bit more expensive. So our idea was to have it here where there is a place where you could just come and it's easier in order to get the fresh stuff. The school team with BK Farmyards, which runs the education programs, the farmer's market, and the volunteer days. This year we started a new class called Go Green. It's a sustainable farming class that focuses on the health of the environment and um, our bodies. So hopefully from now on this will be the health class that all 10th graders take. The, what makes me love it so much is that it's like adventurous. You learn something new every single day. Like you get to do new things, plant different things that you never heard about, taste delicious food, everything. I love it. I think it's important for people to connect to um, where their food comes from, knowing that it comes out of the ground, what it looks like, how to grow it, how much work it takes, what it does for the environment. Um, I think it's a hands-on curriculum that's really important for people. It changes the way that they eat. Um, they start to include more fruits and vegetables into their diet um, as it's readily available. Most of the things that we grow here um, on Wednesdays, we harvest and we sell them in a market to like anybody who wants to come out and buy. And we also, we make some salads sometimes and we taste our own things, so it's really good. And in the end, it's really all about giving back to the community. I never did service like this before, and my school is High School for Public Service, so I never really did a service like that. And to do it now and just to get the experience, it feels good that you do it and then you know that it's going somewhere and you can see your progress. A school's jobs are not only to teach kids how to read and write and do math, but also to be better people. And what we find is not only should that be our mission, that when students feel empowered and feel that they're good at something, be it working at a soup kitchen or working at a homeless shelter or working on a farm, that starts to translate to them thinking that they can do academic work well. And so the students that really buy into the community service aspect then are more bought into the school and care about all the things we do. And we've seen this wonderful uh, kind of dual sense of mission where kids know they have to do their academics, they want to go to really good colleges, but also that they should be good people. And we see that translate to just not only thousands of hours of community service, but also graduating. The project will grow in years to come with plans to expand the farm, create an outdoor classroom, and get more community members involved. I'm Laura Muraski in Crown Heights for Brooklyn Review. And then you put the seeds in. And you let them... Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org/bit.